right, we are live again. Sorry, technical glitch. Um, good old FaceTime. Anyway, uh, welcome to episode two. Yesterday we had Leo Rush, Rush which was, uh, he's a superstar, man, WWE, but he also writes, uh, he's got amazing songs. We had an in-depth conversation yesterday, which was pretty cool. I already talked about the giveaways. Uh, these are the giveaways that we gave away yesterday, and the way we do that is we just screen shoot it, and then uh, we pick you as a winner. So you have to comment below. Uh, hello, sir, I'm about to, I think uh, I see you there. I'm gonna pull you in in just a second. Um, these are signed exclusive prints. Uh, there's only 500 of them, so we gave those out. And it's just, everyone likes the word free nowadays with things going on, all the hectic. Now's the time where you guys can just tune in and just get your mind away from all this craziness because I, I do believe God's got us. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to give out White Ranger pictures today, 8x10s. I thought it was uh, appropriate, and we're just going to screen shoot it, and we're going to pick three winners. I thought it was appropriate because my next guest is... Uh, my instructor who pretty much brought me up through the martial arts uh, is Chris Casamassa. You guys know him as Scorpion and the Mortal Kombat and a ton of other things. He's a ninth degree black belt. He's got it. We're going to talk about his books and all this stuff and pretty much practically raised me. What we're going to talk about today is I never really talk about it, his Hollywood stuff. I, I just grew up around it. I didn't get a chance to ask questions. It was a Matter of chance of doing push-ups, kicks, and I just did my curriculum and kata. So two reasons, now that you're on here, uh, Shiana, I call you sensei, but <laughs> it was, uh, two reasons. I had long hair because of, uh, of your Red Dragon Karate, and I work hard because of Red Dragon Karate. So you definitely, I would say, raised me with good ethics and, and how, to be, how to be a champion. So we're going to bring in, let me just uh, uh, check out your request here. You have to send a request. See, all right, there we go. Let me just pull it in right now. Sorry, uh, hold on one second. <laughs> this is uh, yesterday was okay, today's a little more difficult. I see, okay, so um. I think we probably have a technical glitch, one that I probably having trouble fixing right now. No. Let's see if this works. I believe we got it. Oh. There we go. Oh, hey. my Look God. Look at that. How you are you? It. I was looking for the button, man. I'm not that uh, tech savvy. Hey, we, we, uh, we didn't have this stuff back growing up. I was just telling no kidding. <laughs> no, I, I was telling all the fans, sometimes I got to go and get my daughter and teach me the abbreviations, what this means, what that means. Right. It's just, uh, we had the old-fashioned days. We were in the old-fashioned days, which is great. Yeah. But you look You're great, man. Thank you. Uh, I'm trying to trying to make sure my camera stays and everything. It's great yeah. to see you, man. I haven't seen you in forever. I know. It's been a long time. But you look great, man. I follow you. If, if you guys just tuned in because the people are tuning in all the time, Jason and Frank, the Green Ranger, my instructor, Sean, Chris Casamassa, who – uh, played the Mortal Kombat and a bunch of other stuff that I want to ask you because we, I was, we were kind of, I was busy for that. We were training. So I kind of yes. grew up around it. Grew up, you guys were rock stars around me. So I didn't think twice about it. Everybody was like, oh, you train with, you know, the cast masses even back then. And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty much the part of the family, your dad and everybody. So if you just tuned in, uh, welcome. And my instructor, Chris Casamassa, there are a few things. There's actually a lot of things I told everyone. I'm responsible for long hair because we were walking <laughs> the long hair before 1993, right? True, true. <laughs> we had the uh, black belt necklaces. People will see me on. I don't have it now, but brother, make those necklaces that we had. And, you right. Know, so, but anyway, if people, if you haven't checked out, I'm sure they have because you've got a huge fan base. But I'm just amazed with your training. You're just as good as you were then. And not even better now. Oh, well, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. But I'm watching. I, I, I just, I'm a big believer in leadership by example, right? I can't tell people to do something that I'm not doing myself. That's and, right. Um, that's it. That's so yeah. we got to lead by example. Well, I'll tell you, that's the, that's the proof. And uh, that's something you taught me is how to be a hard work, you know, how to have, how to be a hard worker, but put passion to it. I tell you, every time I look at your Instagram or, you know, uh, Tammy looks at the Instagram, everyone, they just go, like, did he teach you? I'm like, yeah, because I, I got that. I got those principles. So uh, right. every time I know the phones are ringing, 
Uh, and you even taught me how to answer the phone. That's no <laughs> Hello, and thank you for calling Red Dragon Karate. How may I help you? Thank you for calling Red Dragon. Uh, th that's the truth. I mean, people don't really see that. I, I think, and one of the things I learned from you now being a businessman is that how much passion you taught me to have for stuff. I mean, I remember you'd always tell me too, hey, look busy, dude. I don't care what I do. I catch myself telling people, look busy. What do I do? Straighten stuff up. Hey, how you doing today? And it was one of those things that I always... Uh, you know, uh, admired you for. So when people thank me for, hey, thank you for being a hard worker, it starts from being a kid training with you guys. So oh, thank you. Uh, as thank you. It also, listen, it's, I appreciate you saying that, but it also takes someone who's willing to listen, who's willing to learn and who's willing to implement. And you were always that guy, uh, right? You, you okay. took direction well, and you listened and, and uh, listen, you did so great, you inspired me. So we're, <laughs> we're a good team. Well, thank you, man. I, I, I look forward to seeing you now. I, I do want to ask a few things because, like I said, you were just, for me, amazing instructor, part of my family. And I look now and I'm injured and I'm looking, you just pop, pop, pop. And I'm like, oh my God. I, I told my family, I said, here, I'm turning 47. I said, my instructor is just as good, if not better now, doing things that I'm injured. You know, when you're injured, you're really, it just really messes your mind up. But things I never asked you. And you know that I was busy learning from you because karate was my heart and passion is all this stuff, Scorpion and Mortal Kombat. And, and you inspired me to be an actor, though. You really yep. did. It was a big thing. I mean, I looked up to you and it inspired you. Can it you was. I remember the day. Time? I remember the day when we got the call and they said, uh, we're looking for people between this age and this age who are talented and martial artists. Uh, do you know anyone? And I go, man, I have the perfect kid. Uh, right. you got a, I got a young hotshot who fits that role perfectly, yeah. and we sent you down there, and uh, you met the Saban people, and just crushed your audition. Yeah. And uh, I appreciate you it. Man. Superstar, man, that was awesome. Oh, I appreciate it. Well, you guys were definitely. You, the you only reason I was mad, you know why I was mad? Because yeah. I couldn't come to work anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, damn, the kid's in the movies. He's in the I know, I know. It is now one of those things. All the <laughs> it is one of those things. But you know, I. I everyone who watches man we all grow up when we grow through stuff you know my my my, my whole life was on one of these but one thing that i always try to remain and, and you taught me too is to remain be humble that's harder it's harder to be humble so my thing got me through was karate teaching karate i mean i i did it every single day my mom and dad brought me to karate i remember we lived in fontana and my mom would drive me to Covina because I wanted you as an instructor and sorry everyone else I it was a 45 minute drive and my mom said what about here no disrespect what about Upland I don't want to go to Upland <laughs> I was one of those kids I want to go to Covina so it's just amazing to talk to you but I do want to hear a little bit about your experience on Mortal Kombat because I will truthfully say that we were too busy training doing the kick punch and blocks and we didn't have time for all the Hollywood stuff because even though we you were Red Dragon was known for kicking butt, taking names, but also in the Hollywood industry. So right. I just kind of grew up in that. What was your experience with the Mortal Kombat? I, I'm curious. Well, listen, it's it was an amazing experience. And like like you, the fans of Mortal Kombat are so dedicated and loyal. Uh, I just wanted to do it justice. I was a big fan of the game before the movie came out. My two favorite characters were uh, Raiden, that I played all the time, and Scorpion. Those were the two. So when the opportunity came up to, to audition for that, and you already know that when I went to the first audition, they said all the roles were filled. Yeah. Like they, they, Scorpion wasn't open, ain't nothing. And it was just a live audition for background fighters. Okay. And again, because of Red Dragon, we have a talent that kind of scaled us up a little bit. The producer saw like, hey, why don't you come back? Uh, and I came back, I ended up going back three times. And I was like, wow, it is hard to get in a movie for yeah. a background. Yeah. And it wasn't until the very end that they, it came down to me and two other guys. And they just said, uh, the director walked up, shook my hand. He goes, welcome to Mortal Kombat. You're going to be Scorpion. Yep. That's it great. Pretty, it's pretty cool. And I mean, listen, the producers, the directors, they took such great care of me. It was an amazing experience. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's been going on for, what, 20, 25 years now? Oh, so I know. Cool. It's been a it, good run. It, things become a classic after 20 years. Your car sits in your garage for 15 years, nobody cares. 18 years, nobody cares. As soon as it's 20, it's bam, it becomes a classic. You right. know, and, uh, that's kind of what we did. For me, I know you were inspiration on tournament scene, masquerading competitor, first you always win all the time, which that's what I'm saying. Lead by an example. I'd always watch and you'd have trophies everywhere, huge trophies. So you were a, a masquerading competitor and I, I, I competed and break in. I, I remember all these stories. But when it came to an audition, I just treated it like a tournament. I was like, okay, Hada! you know, treated it like a tournament, probably did, I don't know, American Form 1, something really easy at that time. 
but you can the easy stuff you can make it look like master you know someone can throw a kick or a punch and, and i know you know this you can look at them for 20 seconds 10 seconds five seconds and know exactly where they fit in your curriculum yep although we have to be polite we have to be polite that's true and you gotta watch at least 15 minutes of it but yep. so that, that that was and then when you did the uh uh, people are commenting too the w uh wmac masters right, right. when you did yeah. that you were the red dragon that's correct that's crazy yeah i know but the best part of that was they go so we're thinking about character names and what do you think of this name that name and i go i got a good name that we could use and they go well, what's that and they go red dragon and they go that sounds good <laughs> and i was like yeah what a what a easy name to remember and i go yeah, i can wear a red outfit it'll be cool Perfect. That's great. You know what's great about karate too is just you're you're just like you said is the proof in being humble, man. It's been so many years, but it seems like yesterday. I, I still, no matter what, it's you're my instructor. You know, it don't matter what degree. And I always remember you would train us, which I know you train millions of people. But hey, you know, when you ever compete against your instructor, that's it. No, that's the way it is. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. So in my head, you know, when the scorpion in the uh, Green Ranger beatdown came on. This is just a personal thing. Fans don't fans don't know me pers uh, know this personally, but when the Superpower beatdown said, okay, we're gonna take the White Ranger versus Scorpion. And I went, oh God. So they started filming and Aaron said, hey, you know, we're gonna do the, do, do the uh, and that, that was, it's kind of filmed a little bit late. Then I kind of jumped in and told right. them, oh man, my instructor. So it was like, oh my gosh, we, you know, cause social media was catching up then and right. more hearsay, but, uh, when I did that, I was like, oh, God, I can't win. So there's two alternate versions. One version that was completely cut because it was violence. I mean, uh, Scorpion chopped the White Ranger's head off. It was like rolling oh, wow. down the street. So Aaron's probably like, don't talk about it, but we can that footage. But there's two alternate versions, which I'm happy. So Scorpion does kick uh, Tommy's butt in there. But that, that, that was one thing that I think coming up in rank now, you've got a lot of younger guys and, you know, the the, the – UFC, we used to train. I mean, we, we train hard. That was before UFC was UFC. We would train hard. Mr. Fisher and right. we'd, we'd come down all the time. People, students that are watching me now, I'm just telling them that when I grew up, I had a yes and say, no and say, yes and say, no and say. But then the word sir came in. Uh, and then Mr. Fisher would teach class on Thursday. And he right. would tell me, no, it, these are things probably you don't remember because me as a kid, he would say, you know, sir. And I say, yes, yes and say, you know, and sir. So we'd say, yes, sir. And I never forget, he came up to me and said, how many pairs of shoes do you have? And I went, uh, I don't know, three or four pairs. He says, that's the difference between your people and my people. My people fight for shoes. You guys have, you have four pairs of shoes. And I was like, I'll fight for shoes. That was, a, <laughs> that was my turning thing where, you know, and, and people that are watching, we, we, man, it was great curriculum. We sparred. I, I mean, it was just, I, I remember sparring you just as a kid. It's just. So I ultimately respect you. I'm, and you're doing some great stuff. I, I pulled your box out real quick. Uh -oh. I got a Red Dragon box, everybody. And if you're familiar with Loot Crate, this is kind of like the feel of the Loot Crate uh, Comic-Con box, but it's full of karate, awesome stuff. It's a Red Dragon box. And I just saved it because I want to I wanna show everyone when you sign up. I believe you get it as a student? That's right. Okay. It's we, call great. It, we, call it the, uh, we call it the WOW box. It, it is definitely in the wow box. It is definitely the wow factor. We got the t-shirt, we got wristband stickers. Uh, but the most important thing besides the wow factor, because I said, wow, and I still have it. I don't really want to mess it up. I kind of liked it with a kid. You know, your dad used to get comic books off me. I used to have to keep things uh, clean, but and not wrinkled. But the bullyproof, yep. fitness, bullyproof fitness in there. You want to talk a little bit about your book? Just kind yes. of what about? I do, and thank you for giving me the opportunity. So as you know, because you're, you're a big proponent of bullying as well, it's a really bad epidemic. Now, there's another epidemic going through America right now with this coronavirus, but when that goes away, bullying will still be here, unfortunately. So you and I are, are doing some great things by helping kids become bullyproof and fit. And part of my, my mission and my passion and my purpose right now is to help a million kids become bullyproof and fit by 2025. And I traveled the country teaching these clinics at martial arts schools, at public schools, anywhere I can get in. Uh, later on this year, I'll be launching a live training program. We already have an app that is 100% free because I don't do this to make money from it. I do it to help kids. 
Um, so I'm get, right now we've done like 59,127 kids have gone through the Bullyproof course. That's crazy. You know, we're trying to get a million. And like That's you've got crazy. so many followers, they're going to see this yeah. and hear about it. So yeah. that'll be good. Um, sure. do. So that's, you know, we're trying to do our part to help America and to help kids everywhere. Because listen, you, you were a kid and I was a kid in martial arts. So we had that benefit of having a safety net of something that gave us confidence to stand tall in the face of adversity. And there's yeah. so many kids that don't have that. And yeah. now with the rise of, of social media and online bullying and all that stuff, there's a lot of the kids that don't have that confidence that need that help. And that's why, you know, you and I are out there fighting the good fight and trying to help kids around the world. Yeah, that, that's a great thing. One of my friends, Mike Bronzoulis, is a fighter, and he called me yesterday, and I had a brief conversation with him. And he said, it's funny how many people used to make fun of him doing karate, but yet he's a really strong, dominant fighter now. So, you know, we stood up at that time when, you know, the karate kid, all that stuff, we kind of, I, I took it. I mean, I used to have a Comic-Con, uh, Comic Wolverine shirt a long time ago, because, you know, collect the comics, your dad loved that, and he would always yep. him off me. But, um, you know, it, was, it felt good having karate. But also, I think at that time, people were like, ooh, you doing karate? <laughs> and with social media now, you have a lot of social media keyboard warriors. You know, you got oh, someone yes. coming out that are always want to say something about you, which is fine. But what I like about you that I learned as well is that you always have numbers. And that's what people don't have is they don't know specific numbers, like how many people you've helped. Yep. Uh, the, the, the number, even people with finances, the number of your account, the, your home phone number, if we lose our phone, I don't have the number. I'm just going to hit uh, Scorpion <laughs> on the phone. That's the bad thing. That's um, it. So knowing your numbers and, and for sure, I, I really like the whole bullyproof thing because I could speak for proof, right? I'm before right. seven years old. I grew up underneath you. You taught me that. I'm definitely not getting bullied, but I'm not a punk. There's the, you got the two C's, the confidence and cockiness. I got them both, but I'm not <laughs> cocky, you know, and there's a fine line of that. And you, and you taught me that really well. And so, yeah, they say proof is in the pudding, but that's true. And yes. uh, it, it's so crazy. I got, I got the old, the old dad's book here. I no. <laughs> and I got to tell you, your dad is definitely, he always looked like a rock star, man. He's doing good. Everyone's doing good. My dad's my dad's doing good. He's the OG man, and you know that he's yeah. uh, he's a living legend. And uh, you know, you and I give him props all the time. I just don't think industry wide that he gets the the props that he deserves. Like yeah. he started. If you think about it, he started the whole mixed martial arts movement. I mean, yeah. like Red Dragon was the original mixed martial arts. He was doing that in the '60s, in the 1960s, before anybody even thought about it. So yeah. to me, he's like a martial arts Michelangelo. Like he yeah, created. Totally. And, and did this whole thing. I'm just helping to carry on the legacy and the legend yeah. of what he did yeah. to try and improve it and make it better down the line. But, you yeah. know, he's doing good. And he told me, he, about he, it. I told him I was going to talk to you today. He said to tell you hello. I'll tell him I said hi. He, he said you still can't block the... Uh, the oh, the no. God, <laughs> yeah. We did the old, the old block. I'm going to tell you when I'm going to hit you with the ring thing. And, yeah. then block yeah. it. and I'll say now, and you block. And it was like now. <laughs> So he just hit me so fast that I couldn't even – he told me when to block, but it just yeah. it was super fast. And he is definitely an ultimate legend. The only difference is, you see, me and you, me, you, Karen on Legacy, he's too busy doing karate and training to have social media back then. That's what right. I'm saying. Me and you, we talk punch kick, block kicks, intros. Uh, you know, we talk that stuff. So he, he is – and I always tell everybody – Man, uh, about the you know, UFC and the boss said, we did all that at Red Dragon. Yeah. Like, I remember 16, 17, 18, 12, we did that. And so right. <laughs> even, even the black belt test, nowadays, I always look at that. My, my test is, is still long. It's, it's got hit. It's, got, it's, it's, it's meaty. It's not just quick, come and go, 20 minutes. Now, I will say this, if I'm an instructor and teach to you for five, six years close, I know what you know, but sometimes I got so many students now that I do sit on the board and that stamp of approval, people can't get no more. Right. They can't get what your dad has. Everyone calls for rank. They, there's a lineage there. People aren't no more. Their certificates and kanji stamps really don't cut, cut it no more. Right. So people need it. And, and that's, and that's kind of what your dad, the, the, the legacy of your dad. And I, I'm telling you, man, he's, He's uh he used to come into the dojo and I know he's your dad you grew up around it but when he come in the dojo even with you you were the main instructor and come in the dojo and we just like oh, God no movies matters nothing nope. matters except just staring at your dad and thinking I want to be like you even even when he's movements and even Mr Fisher too Mr. Yeah. Fisher was fast 
You oh, wouldn't yeah. think he would. No. Uh, but I always respect my higher ranks and respect people. And that's nowadays when you got these younger ranks calling you out. That's why I say proof is in the heart. Right. There's no need to, to prove anything because if you really were a martial artist and you're a fourth degree calling a higher degree out, shame on you. Right. Put right back where you're at. You got to line in as far as respect, like the military. Right. You know? And um, and you always taught me too. I know you're probably thinking you teach everyone everything, but always respect the. You know, if you don't respect, and I have this issue, if they don't like what they're doing on a personal level, respect the rank. When you're my dojo, respect the rank. You might not have to respect what they're doing or the person, but in my dojo, you fall in place. That's the way it is. Yep. You know, and uh, so where, what school are you at right now? The, 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 I'm in Glendora. Okay, you're in Glendora. You got a lot of books behind you. <laughs> I do a lot of reading, man. I believe knowledge is power. So I stay on. But you see this thing over my shoulder here? I see that. <laughs> I mean, it's First not as cool thing. as the thing behind you. But hey, yeah. I got a pop doll. You got a pop doll. Yeah, I got, I got the, uh, I got the uh, pop dolls. I got the toys. I was that, I was that, there's bloodshot out this week. But I got a bunch of bunch of stuff back here wow but, uh, but man i'm looking forward to seeing you you know we're, we're gonna be getting you in that legend of white dragon i just it, it's a couple friends that i know i just uh, you know how the hollywood industry is i really hate that but everything's meant to be yep everything's meant to be so when we work together i'm really excited and i'd like to do uh you know a show too comic con fans always ask about you i think uh just beyond this you see this is like what i what i like is that people are signing something that has value. This is value. Autographs and pictures are value too. This is value too. But this has like material that can change the world. And um, if people, I think if people step up, I don't, you know, if you're not bullied, maybe they don't know what it's all about. But nowadays with the social media bullying and all that other stuff, I mean, your dad will do rapist wear before all. I mean, he would always do things like that. Yeah. So, if, if people wanted to, to go on, is there an easy way to get on here that they can, because you know people are lazy sometimes. Is there an easy way where they can go and subscribe or you have an Instagram or where do you want them to go? 100%. Uh, the book is available on Amazon around the world. So anywhere that you are in the world, just type in Bullyproof Fitness on Amazon. That book will pop up. Uh, the app is in the App Store for iTunes and uh, the Google Play Store for Android. It is free. There's a bunch of videos and resources in there for parents and for kids. They can follow along uh in there and I'm constantly adding things into the app as well because like I said I really am passionate about helping kids get bully proof and and strong and I just want to thank you for getting yeah. on here and, and getting some more exposure to it I really appreciate it and listen you oh, said so earlier that I've taught thousands of kids and I have probably over a hundred thousand at this point yeah. but there's about 12 that I remember yeah. and you are one of them you're one of my okay. standouts one of my stars um, you're like a little brother to me you still are to this day Thank and you. Uh, we had a lot of good times together and I, I'll never forget that and but you learned the lessons well and you listened and you were always respectful, always humble, and you always gave back. And that's what makes you unique. And that's why I remember you over all the hundreds of thousands of people I've ever met and taught. And by the way, Comic-Con would be cool. I would love to do a Comic-Con with you. It'd be awesome. I think Comic-Cons would be great. Um, I look forward to working with you two behind the camera. I'll be honest, when I was young, you always, you know, you, you got that good look presence of yourself. I looked like a little baby. I was trying to be like, Oh, I'd love to play a cop, but you had that role and you had everything going. So now I look forward to actually doing something with you where I'm not just a little baby <laughs> like I was when I was 16. Yeah. But, um, you know, so, but I, I just would say something, then we'll go. But everyone who's watching here, I, I think the best thing about this is that you might look and you might think, oh, you know, what are they selling? Where you already heard it. This stuff's free. Uh, Register and you can get the book on Amazon. It's not a profitable thing. That's what I like about it is that we're adding value to this world right now that everybody wants, 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 wants. So for my audience, I like them because they give, 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 like me and you. You took the time out of the day. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm writing stuff down. I'm so excited about it. Haven't, haven't got a chance to see you like this ever in my whole time. FaceTime thing, which is super crazy. And then now we can continue doing things together and I guess change the world. So anything you ever need from me or my fans can c catch you at uh, Chris Casamassa. Yep, ChrisCasamassa.com. Yep. Chris Casamassa. And if you guys, if you, I have a lot of people that run schools too. If you guys, it's not about running a school and making profit. The first thing you need to have is passion. But if you want to learn how, how to, I guess, how, how would you say that? How, how, uh, how would you say someone that wants to learn school, 
about passion or well yeah it, it, listen at the bottom it doesn't matter what you do if you don't have passion for it then get out of it right if you're just in it for the money then people are going to smell that right away and then you're never going to do well if you're yeah. like you and i are passionate about the martial arts i love what i do you love what you do when we teach anybody that watches us or sees us teach they can sense the passion that comes from the heart yeah. now we do very well financially right you do yes. good i do good yes. Yes. but i'm not in it for the money i'm in it for the the passion and it really yeah. is true to my heart of helping people. The money is a byproduct of, of what we do. If yeah. there's school owners that are watching, there's three categories, right? There's income, impact, and lifestyle. So we all want to make income, but ultimately if you want to make a bigger impact in your community, then you have to run a business that helps you survive so you can live the lifestyle that you want. And we yeah. have those three components and the passion magic happens yeah it's so true i think i was looking for because i'm being brought back to being a kid again and working under you and and training people when they come in what to say or what not to say and it's one of those things where you said we don't just kick punch and block here right if you're looking for punch kicks and blocks go somewhere else we're teaching the values we're teaching the core of what a punch block and a kick is so when people watch a snap kick you'd be surprised how many instructors pick up that oh okay chamber lift back down that to, to learn how to, uh, I guess, translate the arts. Right. You know, one can translate a Bible. It's either boring or you're Joel Olstein and motivating. So I think your translation, but people, I think, need to understand the translation. And you, yes. you adapt it very well. So I highly, anybody, for sure, my school and my success wouldn't be where I was without that hard work ethics, honestly. And uh, well, I just you. personally wanted to thank you, man. And I look forward to, uh, seeing you working with you and i'm sure right after we get off this i already know like i told leo we will i did, did with him too we'll text each other that was awesome let's do it again let's work together so i'm gonna text you anyway the same thing how awesome it was but All i right. do look forward to working with you and doing some stuff and like i said anytime you need me to go down there and teach i'll be at home it's not about the money i don't care about the i uh, just go teach karate and i think that's that's uh speaks for itself and and like you said to to be awesome as you are still right now like i'm not even saying that you were as good then and you're as good now when you <laughs> someone like me that's got injury it inspires you to have my instructor from back then still inspiring you that's like really unheard of in in, in my opinion well thank you man I, listen i appreciate that uh i feel like the grinch right now my heart is growing three sizes bigger just hearing you say that so i, I really appreciate it but listen awesome. you're doing don't you're i mean I, it's good to be humble but you're no slouch man you're you're crushing it you're doing great things you're helping a lot of people. Um, so it's, it's awesome to see that you're living the lifestyle, right? You're not just, you're not just walking the walk. You're talking yeah. the talk. You're doing both parts. And yeah. that's true leadership. And yeah. that's why I'm proud to call you my friend. Oh, well, thank you, man. One, one thing I wanted to ask you, and then we'll, we'll let you go, is that my students today, we started, um, you know, we're encouraging I hear students in the background, which is great. I told my instructors and everyone today that we need our mental training. We need to to not let go of our, our, our mental state and training the kids mentally instead of just letting this virus take over everything. I'm tra trying to train the brain. And that's what my students are doing. And we're doing some online classes as well. Um, do you have any uh, suggestions for other people that are like, oh, I'm too scared to come to karate type of thing? Well, listen, everyone's got to do what they feel is right for themselves and their family. So I, I pass no judgment, right? If you're worried about this virus, then stay home. That's totally cool. Um, I've got, you know, I, I should have 30, 40 students in the class uh, behind me right now. I think I've got six or seven. The rest of them have decided to stay home, but we're doing a lot of virtual training. We've got a, a Zoom set up. We've got webinar set up. We've got online set up. So people that are staying at home can still train with us so yeah. that you don't miss out on the value of the training. Yeah. Um, and that's, the, you know, the crazy thing about this coronavirus, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. It's three times more contagious than the flu. There's no cure for it at the moment. Um, most of the people at risk are, you know, in 60s and 70s, so they're a little bit older, but anyone can be a carrier. So that's the, that's the scary part of it. So I always tell people, listen, do what you feel is right for you. Stay safe, sanitize your hands, wash your hands, yeah. you know, cough in the elbow. Yeah. It's all the basics of what, you know, our moms told us when we were little. Yeah, which is true. And that's why I'm telling students to encourage them to practice at home, because how many, I'd say, Billy Blanks, so, you know, all the, all the stuff we got, VHS tapes, DVDs. How many of those actually end up under the bed? Almost all of them, because no one has the discipline to actually watch it maybe one time, and then they want to work out. So now's the time to really give yourself discipline to go home and make yourself train your brain. I tell people, 
like I have a train me an introduction class. It's like say an intro class, five, four, four or five at, at Red Dragon back, back in the days. It's like an introductory class, but I teach them that you have to have the discipline and it's actually gonna make you become a better martial artist because in class, we're captivated by you. I was as a kid captivated by you, but go home and practice, eh. But now's the point where you can catch up your curriculum, you can learn, you can actually be disciplined and know that your child is doing karate at home or the adults. So I think it would be a definite, definite challenge for people. And that's what we're doing too. But I think they can overcome the challenge and don't get caught behind because this thing can blow over. It's what it is, but we're making the best of it right now. And I think just training our brain mentally is good instead of just shutting our brain down and letting it take over our lives. Yep. There's a lot of resources online that people can do. Books. Yep. <laughs> There's plenty yep. of reading that you can do to, to, to stay educated and stay sharp. You want to stay sharp mentally and this book. Yeah, read that book. Yep. That's true. Well, thank you, man. I, I really appreciate you, man. It was an honor. Uh, I don't know. Is there anything else that we pretty caught everything? Yeah. I think we, we caught everything. Yeah. That'd be good. So I look forward to, to watching your fans out there. If you have not seen the Superpower Beatdown Scorpion versus White, uh, I say White Dragon because we're doing a legend of White Dragon. Uh, White Ranger, check it out. Remember, it's fictional. This guy in real life can kick my butt. That's all I'm telling you. He's my instructor. So, well, you know, you know, hey, I just thought of something. We should actually reshoot that because I wasn't in the Scorpion thing. Yes. Put me in the Scorpion thing, you in the, and then we could have, then we could have a good time. And listen, that the uh, legend of the White Dragon thing, I yes. think that's going to be spectacular, dude. And I can't wait not only to see it, but to be part of it and to be in it with you. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. And then I'm working with the uh, producers from the Mortal Kombat franchise. They're putting it together a new franchise. Yeah. When that thing goes, your phone's going to ring because I'm going to get you in it, too. <laughs> Thank you. You used to make a FaceTime or we're going to ring. Nowadays, when people call, I swear to God, my dad calls and I go, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> How do I answer it? <laughs> yeah, what, what the hell? But anyway. Um, thank you so much, man. I look forward to seeing you. I'm already going to see you afterwards. But uh, thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, log you out right now, and okay. then uh, I'll text you in a little bit. I do Bye, have everybody. a lot of member of the AKF, just to let you know I do have everything here. I save everything. So thank you for all the memories, and I'll never forget it. And um, I'll talk to you later. Awesome. Thank you. All right, sir. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. I appreciate it. <clears throat> well, that was, uh, that was amazing, man. That was really – I love that. Bringing back memories. It's been so many years since we've, uh, you know, we talk all the time, but to actually talk on FaceTime and share it with my fans, uh, being a kid again, right? I, I turned back to being 12 years old again. Um, but uh, anyway, we got the white, I keep saying white dragon. Let me show you. White dragon. We got the white ranger. Well, this, is, this, is why, this is why I keep saying the legend of the white dragon, guys. All right. This is why I keep saying the legend of the white dragon, because this thing is looking at me the whole time where I'm saying the white ranger. Look at this. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'd rather be this guy. Uh, and we're doing the Kickstarter. We already, we already got uh, funding, but we're doing Kickstarter for the fans to, to make it happen even more uh, for a feature. But that's been postponed and more of a, of a courtesy. And uh, we're going to have uh, some good people uh, on the show uh, coming up. I will, I will post uh on on the gram who's next my good friend mike from the wwe he's coming tomorrow and he's joining us i'm going to post some promos on that uh mike we we kind of go way back in the in the um the, i would say wrestling backstage talking to each other so i look forward to seeing you tomorrow show your power and your toys if you're at home if you're not on the road no problem at all we'll talk wrestling we'll talk comics we'll talk but we'll just talk you know us. I'm bringing people in here that we just have a good time. Leo, thank you. Chris Casamassa, thank you. I do encourage everyone. Like I said, I told you, that's where I come from. You see, my instructors, they don't care about money. We care about values. We care about adding something into your life. So this right here, Bullyproof Fitness, this is just full of material to help your kid uh, overcome be, you know, being bullied. So if this will be on my YouTube channel, the whole program at the JDF FFN. Um, YouTube, if you guys tuned in and you watched, we have 86,400 seconds a day. And I want to thank you guys for allowing us, uh, Shion, Chris Casamassa, and myself, allowing us time out of your busy, busy schedule. Tomorrow we'll have Mr. Mike from the WWE coming in here. Uh, and we'll see you tomorrow. And we will bring the heat at JDF Instagram live show. We'll do uh, episode three tomorrow. Thank you guys. You're amazing.
Check us out on YouTube at JDF FFN. And this will also replay for the next hour. See, or next hour, next 24 hours. Bye.